Mitral valve disease is a very common problem. It can often result in a very leaky valve called regurgitation. There are treatment options available for patients who have leaky mitral valves. And I'm proud to say here at Spectrum Health, we offer a wide variety of treatment options for our patients. Traditionally, mitral valve disease has been treated through surgical techniques, which require open heart surgery or stopping your heart and being placed on a heart lung machine. We now have the mitral clip procedure here at Spectrum Health where we can actually repair the mitral valve and do this as a beating heart procedure. We don't stop your heart, we don't have to put you on a bypass machine, and we can do this through a completely percutaneous approach. So as a background, the heart has four chambers. All the chambers are separated by tissue that we call valves, and the valves help blood flow from chamber to chamber in the right direction. The mitral valve is the main valve that separates the upper left chamber of the heart from the bottom left chamber. When the bottom left chamber is trying to pump blood out to the body into the aorta, the mitral valve is held in place by its structure and anatomy so that a front and back leaflet are held together so that blood doesn't come back into the upper left chamber as a heart contracts and all the blood goes out to the body. In mitral valve insufficiency or regurgitation, the valve leaflets are not being held in place, and as a result, blood as it's trying to get out of the heart also goes back up into the upper left chamber, and then sometimes back up into the lungs as well. If nothing is done about that and the valve is severely leaking, the heart is actually forced to pump extra blood volume with every contraction. And in an average day, the heart pumps about 100,000 times a day. That additional burden of extra blood being pumped eventually results in weakening of the heart and heart damage that oftentimes is irreversible. For the mitral clip procedure, we can access the heart through a vein in the groin. We don't have to use large incisions, we use small puncture holes and work our equipment up to the heart. From there, we use special imaging equipment which allows us to place the clip in a position where the leakage of the valve is occurring. Once the leak is identified, we can repair it with the clip, reducing the leak significantly. During the recovery phase, patients still may have some fatigue just from the effect of being under general anesthesia for a few hours, but most of the time they are feeling less short of breath and starting to develop more energy within less than a week. We uh, have had a very active um, program for uh, all of cardiovascular medicine, but in this area, specifically with the mitral valve, we have worked very closely um, with our open heart surgeons and have a full assessment of what is best treatment for individual patients. We are actually one of a very few centers in the state that can offer the mitral clip procedure, and in fact, we have the second highest volume in the state for that over the past two and a half years. Patients are typically comforted by the fact that they are evaluated by a team of doctors who are leaders in their field and by doctors who actually care about them. Anesthesiologists, cardiothoracic surgeons, cardiologists, advanced imaging specialists, and advanced heart failure specialists converge to figure out what's the best treatment options for these patients. And I feel the patients benefit from this the most from getting the opinions from all these top leaders.